All right, Ashley, thank you. In the meantime, tonight, a Clark County judge denying a request to overturn Nevada's election. Well, a group argued that AB4, the law allowing ballots to be mailed to all active voters in the state, is unconstitutional. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen was in the courtroom today, and he's live with how the judge came to her decision. Jeremy. Yeah, Todd and Drisha, Judge Gloria Sturman pretty much made her decision based on needing hard evidence and saying that overturning an entire election will be an extraordinary step. To throw out an election based on what ifs is a really extreme request. Judge Gloria Sturman questioning lawyer Joel Henson from the Election Integrity Project. It's a group backed by former Senate candidate Sharon Engel. Henson argued AB4, the law that sent every active voter a mail ballot, diluted the voting power of legal voters and made it vulnerable to fraud. We want you to declare that AB4 is unconstitutional because it denies equal protection to all of the legal voters in Nevada. Hansen also said he had affidavits showing people noticing ballots improperly cast and says there were about a few thousand questionable ballots. Attorneys for the Nevada Democrats disputed that. Or you will not find in either of those declarations or the attachments to them anything like the hypothetical that Your Honor posited of a voter or an individual who was found who said, yes, I received this ballot in someone else's name. Judge Sturman ultimately found the diluted vote argument insufficient, denying his request for a new election. We don't have any evidence that there were a sufficient number of what you are terming illegal votes that would in fact have been not properly cast and should not have been counted. And the judge also made it clear to the plaintiffs that they could have submitted their complaints to the Secretary of State's office instead of seeking a judge's order. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. Jeremy